Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today video, we are going to discuss about terraform tainting resources. So let's start. So the terraform taint command informs terraform that a particular object has been degraded or damaged. So what does it mean basically? Uh, we'll take example of EC2 instance. So you have created an EC2 instance and you found later that it's not working properly then what you can do you can mark that instance as a taint and that instance whatever you are going to mark as a taint that will be marked in a terraform state file so next time when you run terraform plan or terraform apply command it will replace the existing instance with the new one so terraform uh, represent this by marking the object as a tainted in the terraform state and the terraform will propose to replace it in the next plan you create so that's what basically a terraform taint command does so this command is depreciated for terraform version 0.15.2 and later and we recommend using hyphen replace option with the terraform apply so still this command work if you are using the previous version of like 0.14 or something then you can use the terraform tent command and the later version from this version or later you can use a uh, hyphen replace command so this is the basically command you have to apply terraform taint and this will be the argument and address so here basically the address the address argument is the address of the resources from the terraform state to set as tainted so this particular uh, address will be like if you see in this particular example so if you run terraform state list so it will give you output something like this so you have the aws underscore instance dot dev so this particular will be the address which you are going to mark as a tainted we will see in tactical then it will be more clear so let me do one thing i'll just quick, quick, uh, quickly open my uh, bs code so what i will do I will run terraform plan command. I'm just uh, trying to show you how basically it mark a terraform this particular resource as a tainted in a this particular file terraform state file. So now I will run terraform apply. Well, provide yes. So now it's a start creating the EC2 instance. So now you can see our Terraform apply command is completed. Now we will verify. So we have one instance is working fine and we found later like this instance has some issues so we will mark this instance as a taint so for that what we will do let me clear the screen so terraform so this is the instance basically which we have to mark as a taint so if i'll go to my terraform.tf state file now you can see the status you cannot find anything as a uh, taint here so let me run the terraform taint command and i'll copy this because we need to mark this instance as a tainted So the source instance aws underscore instance dot dev has been marked as a tainted so if you see in this status it's as a tainted so now next time when you run the terraform apply uh, plan command or apply command it will this particular instance will exist basically it will if you see the id here is 64e 
now let me run again So now id we have 64e let's see what it does so now you can see it's first it start destroying this particular instance the id was 64e and it's it start it will start then after destroying it will start creating a new instance instead of this particular instance so this is the one way and another way we have if you find like this particular instance is running and we you need to find out what what was the issue then what you can do you can uh, remove this particular instance from the terraform state file and you can then uh, terraform apply again we will see in practical so you will have both the instance the tainted one and the new one which will create So now if I refresh the instance, now you can see the 64E it's uh, terminated and the new one it's created. So what it does basically it's replaced the this instance with this instance. So now if you want to keep uh, both the instance and you you want to analyze the issue what occurs in this particular instance then for that what you can do let me move to my slides <clears throat> so replace and keep the old resources so when i needed to replace one resource what i did not want to lose it so you may think if you have some issue with one ec2 instance and you need to keep that instance running until you have time to troubleshoot what is going wrong with the with it by checking the log later so to so for that basically what you can do you can remove the instance from the terraform state file so the, this is the particular command if, let me go to my bs so now what i will do let me check the command terraform okay not this one terraform state rm So if you see in terraform tf state file we have a lot of content so now it's started removing so now you can see the terraform tf state file is again freshed so if you see the backup of this particular file you will see all the details which is created so now what we will do again let me refresh the screen so we have one instance 6de we are focusing on this instance now so we want to we don't want to uh, lose this instance and we want to create a new instance so for that we have removed the particular instance from the terraform.tf state file so now let me run again terraform apply So apply is completed let's verify so now this is the new instance which is created and this is not replaced so we can now check what's the issue in this particular instance we can check the logs and meantime we have also created a new instance to like basically to replace this instance we have replaced this instance with this one and this we will find out the issue and later we can remove this particular so this, so this is the way if you want if you don't want to remove the resources without checking the logs like what is going on with that instance why it's not working you keep that instance for a 
uh, basically you keep you want to keep that instance to analyze the issue and uh, and the same time you you want the instead of the the instance which is facing issue you want to replace that instance with the new one so this is the approach basically you can follow so that's how basically replace and keep the old resources work so next we have terraform force replacement so till now we were uh, seeing terraform taint command so taint command is uh, depreciated and from the version 0.15 below that it will work now with replace this is the command you have you can use with the uh, what is called uh, apply with the apply command so using the hyphen replace argument with terraform apply or terraform plan to force terraform to replace a resource even though there are no modifications that would require it so if you find like if you feel it's not working and you mark that as a taint and it, sorry it's not working and if you want to create a like later you want okay I, it was missed so you have not done any modification on that instance it's still if you use terraform hyphen replace replace command it will replace without like without checking is there any modification or not it will directly replace the instance and it will create a new instance for you so that's how basically a terraform apply hyphen replace replace command basically work and another command we have terraform untaint so you have marked but some instance as a taint and uh, later you realize no it's not it's working fine so you can also untain that command with the help of simply running terraform untaint and the resource which you want to untaint so that's how basically our terraform tainting works so that's all for today see you in next video thank you so much